What's up, everyone? Hope you're having a swell day. And this time, I went out there to Walmart because it seems like they're taking their stuff from the back and putting it on the floor. Definitely nice to see that because I haven't seen some of these stuff in years. And yeah, now we have all these DVDs slowly coming out and TV shows and cartoons coming out. But there's still some reason to have some of these and some of these are still hard to find. So I definitely would think it's worth checking out going to Walmart, you know. But uh, without further ado, let's see what I got. And the first movie I have is Straight Out of Nowhere, Scooby Doo Meets Courage, Cowardly Dog. And I mean, I bought this because, you know, a big fan of, of Courage, Cowardly Dog, and, you know, I enjoy some Scooby Doo. And I mean, pretty cool to see this. Didn't really, you know, expect this to come out, just like the title, Straight Out of Nowhere, you know. And so here's the back. You can read that. So you see them here, pretty nice. And you got, um, it comes with three Scooby-Doo cartoons, pretty nice too. Yeah, I mean, I bought this a while back, but you know, definitely nice to have. But yeah, I wanted to show off, but yeah, definitely nice to have. Yep, your slipcover, same thing. And here's a disc, so yeah. Nice silver disc with Scooby-Doo and Courage the Cowardly Dog. Pretty cool. You know, and uh, the nice thing is this was the last time the voice actress of Muriel did her voice. And the voice actress of of Eustace, he passed away. So they had to get a new guy. And if you grew up with Courage Cali Dog, you could tell they changed or his voice is different. But he still does a pretty good job. And yeah, I'm, the only thing I will say is this is more for people who are a fan of Courage Cali Dog. It's a really good Courage of Cowardly Dog movie, but they don't really do justice for Scooby-Doo. So kind of a bummer, but you know, this is like the last thing they made with Courage of Cowardly Dog. So I wanted to, to add to my collection, but yeah, definitely interesting to see, you know, no one really expected it to come and yeah, it's here, you know, but I mean, I mean, there, there's so much you could do with Scooby-Doo and I mean, there's always, they're always trying to find new ways and new stories to tell Scooby-Doo and yeah I mean they're always doing new stuff so interesting to see this you know who knows what else or what other characters will cross over with Scooby-Doo but yeah kind of a bummer they didn't do a, a lot of justice for Scooby-Doo when they even included modern technology which I guess makes sense but it's not really utilized very well but it is what it is but yeah pretty nice to have Next is Cartoon Network Hall of Fame Collection. This is Volume 1. Oh, if you can, here you go. Volume 1. And this one comes with Courage of Cowardly Dog, Dexter's Laboratory, Ed and Nettie, and Johnny Bravo. And it's Disc 1, uh, Season 1, Disc 1, of Courage of Cowardly Dog. Season 1, Disc 1 of Dexter's Laboratory. Ed and Nettie is a Volume 2 compilation disc. And Johnny Bravo is season one, disc one. But yeah, most of them, they've only released season one. So it makes sense. And here's the back. Yeah, obviously. Here you go with Johnny Bravo. Dexter's Laboratory. Courage of Cali Dog. And Ed and Eddie. Ed, Ed and Eddie. <laughs> and this one has a, two special features. They're not they're nothing special, but you know, it's, it's always nice to have special features. And this is actually the second version to come out. The first version actually had like, you know, split in four and showed all four pictures of four different characters. And I think I prefer that one because that one had all the discs separately. But I guess it's nice to have this one because if you can see here. So they're all silver. But uh, yeah, I keep disc three on top because that's pretty much the main one I watch. So that's the stuff I really like, but I guess it's backwards. But yeah. So these, they kind of squeezed all that stuff. To, yeah, yeah, put all that stuff together into three discs. So instead of having one disc per cartoon. So make sure I put that in right. Yeah. You know, 
So I think I do prefer the original, but I guess it's nice to have less disc if you're going to stack them. So there is that, but yeah. So, I mean, the main reason I do have this is for Courage of Cali Dog. I don't have any, I don't have any disc of his or of the show and Ed and Eddie, because this one, I believe it is episodes from season two or two or three or three or four. I'll put that on the screen. But they did make other versions, and yeah, you could really get to see the complete season one of Dexter's Laboratory, Johnny Bravo, Ed and Eddie, and of all of these. But like I said, I don't have Courage of Cali Dog or Ed and Eddie, and especially now with Ed and Eddie that they came it came out with the almost complete series, and I say that because it doesn't include the specials or the movie. But I mean, at least they found the, at least all the main episodes, so that's nice to see. But yeah, maybe it's not worth it for everyone, but I still enjoy it. Or the, I think it's still worth it for me until I buy all those other series or seasons, then maybe I'll get rid of it. But for now, it's nice to have. And here is Cartoon Network Hall of Fame Volume 3. You can read that. Well, it says up here too. Yeah, so um, Walmart did not have volume two, but at least they had this one. This one, is, I would say, is actually worth it because, well, you get season one, disc two of Dexter's Laboratory. So I guess I completed that one now, even though I already have it on it by itself. So now I have it twice. But oh, and then um, and you have Ed and Eddie. This one is actually season one, disc one. Kind of weird that he did that, but maybe season one didn't fully come out until until a while. So I'll put that up if if I if it is if not I don't know, but yeah maybe I'll put it up. But um, I would say the main reason I got this was for Billy Mandy and Kids Next Door. You know the only bad thing is well yeah the one bad thing is that this one is more like a compilation disc for Kids Next Door. It's not like season one disc one, and if it is, it doesn't. Seem like it, but I guess I'll put it up on the screen. <laughs> but the Billy and Mandy, that is actually season one, disc one. So, and Billy and Mandy's actually pretty hard to find. And if you do find it, it's pretty expensive. So yeah, pretty nice to find. So oh, here in the back, read that. So yeah, Dexter Laboratory part two or disc two of season one, five episodes. Here's Code name kids next door, super huge, huge mission file two. So this is the second one, seven episodes. They were okay episodes. The Grand Veteran of Billy and Mandy, yeah, five oh, eight. You see that one comes with eight. Eight. That's crazy. How come the other ones? But whatever. And then Ed and Eddie, seven episodes because it's season one, disc one. And I'll show you now. Here we go. Yeah, obviously. I just put stack them the way I prefer them. So here we go. Kids Next Door, volume two, seven episodes. Nice. Let me put it. And Billy and Mandy, disc one. Oh wait, season one, disc one. You can see that there. Yeah, and Ed and Nettie, complete first season, disc one. Yeah, and then, yeah, this one. Yeah, it's a little silver disc in Dexter Laboratory, disc two, season one. But yeah, I already have disc Dexter Laboratory, Ed and Nettie. But, you know, obviously they haven't, they've only released this, they only released season one from what I know. So maybe they will release some more ever since they released the so-called complete season of Ed and Eddie and Foster Zone for Imaginary Friends. So that'll be nice, but who knows? But I'll definitely like to see if they do a complete series DVD set for Kids Next Door. That'd be nice to have that. But yeah, these are the four discs it comes with. And I mean, I would recommend this one. 
Uh, the second one I'd probably recommend, but only because the second one has Code Name Kids Next Door, Disc One, or Super Scoop Mission One. Um, other than that, I think uh, the other stuff is, you could probably get that complete series. So, there's that. <laughs> and next, we got this one. Looney Tunes Parodies Collection. I mean, the other ones I kind of opened early and I got too excited, but this one I could wait. <laughs> that was nice. There's the front, pretty nice. I mean, I like Looney Tunes and, you know, parodies of movies. I thought that'd be pretty funny. And here's the back, parody hilarity. There's that's a greed, some pictures of stuff and here are the cartoons that they have, pretty nice. So yeah, oh, still got some. It's always so hard to get it all. Oh, so yeah, silver disc, silver disc. Very, I guess pretty nice to have this all in a collection, all together. Oh, maybe I'll buy some more. I know I always see a lot of Looney Tunes DVDs out there, but this one just interests me because you know they're parodying movies, so I thought I'd give it a shot. But let me know if you've seen it or what you think, what your thoughts are, or what, if you recommend. And last but not least, we have Transformers More Than Meets the Eye. This one is the complete first season. And yeah, they do have the complete series, but I've never really been a huge Transformers fan, but I thought I'd check it out. It just interests me. Here's the back. Transform and roll out, of course. So you can read that. And there are the bonus features. And yeah, I mean, this is the original Transformers cartoon. And I mean, they made so many versions. I've never really been into them, but seeing the first season, it just kind of interests me. So I'll check it out. And if I like it, then I have it. And maybe I'll buy the complete series, depending how much I enjoy it. But let's open it up. This one's harder. This is weird. There we go. Not as sharp anymore. There we go. Ah, oh, that's nice. But yeah, there we go. Transformers season one. And this one, yeah, from the 30th anniversary. Is that what it says? The. It says thrilling, thrilling 30 Transformers. I think that's what it says, but yeah, did I get, yeah. Oh, okay, multiple discs, that's nice. So here we go, we got disc one right here. So you can read that. Whoa. Oh, oh let me, oh, yeah. You got this one here, disc two, and the bonus features. And here you go. So disc two has these episodes. I mean, it's it may not be perfect because it's behind and there's things here, but it's better than nothing. And some don't even come with this, so I'll take it. And then here are special features. To be honest, it's kind of hard to see. But let's see if I can read that. Triple chargers. Yeah, I cannot read that. But I think it's right here. Well, yeah, yeah you can read it. Well, those are the special features. You can read it there. And yeah, definitely nice to have it. And so... Uh, and they did make a movie. Which I've never seen, but you know. Of course. Definitely nice. And yeah, that's pretty much my Walmart find. 
And yeah, so go out there, check out, go to Walmart, see what you can find, and hey, maybe you'll find some of this stuff too. So thank you for joining me, and uh, I'll see you next time. Take care.